Emma, ever, which is not live streaming, evidently, and yet again I am left talking to myself. Oh, it's working. Well, that's embarrassing. All right, well, I'm going <laughs> to proceed on the assumption that it's working, and we are going to draw some space pirates. That's right. We're going to design an entire band of space pirates. So let's choose a blue color, because that's more space piratey. Maybe a little, a little tint of the purple in there. And I think what I want to do is design the characters on a high level, and I hope you guys will... This is, we're doing some collaborative world building right here. Molluscoid's in the chat. What's up, Molluscoid? And uh, so we're going to have to design, I'm thinking like five space pirates and we'll just we won't get them to a final stage but we can start you know designing the bodies and uh so i'm gonna go ahead and start just drawing some random figures and we can decide uh which ones to use but how can we what what can we do to make these you know to really like what's the story behind these space pirates i'm gonna give them some attitude can they be are they are there aliens amongst the space pirates? That's something we gotta figure out. Let's see here. So I'm thinking the first guy. I don't know why I just started with a with a shorter guy. And then, you know, we're gonna have to have the big guy. Maybe we can do something special to like differentiate him. How can we make the big guy more interesting than your stereotypical big dude? Give them like short legs. Now that's pretty standard. I don't know. And I'm using this technique that um, someone in the Cyber Nation, Professor Stratego, was asking me about. He wants to learn figure drawing and stuff and how to get started. And there are lots of good books and stuff, but I figured out this little thing I thought it was pretty simple um, to get started with, and that's to take the upper body in the middle and the pelvis what's up steamed ham 75 what's the 75 refer to the year you were born or how many steamed hams collectively make up your body those are very different things so you got one two three you know and then something like that with the legs and you come out a little more and the thing is it's nice to put a box on the bottom start getting an idea of where they're standing so for this guy Maybe he'll have his legs like that. And then he'll have this. Dun, dun, dun. Or should he just be flexing? Because it's just like, uh, carrying something on his shoulders. He's carrying a sack of flour, of space flour. Alright. So these guys are space pirates, and um, because the the uh, there's a space drought happening, so they need to so space flower. So here we see S P S P. Oh wait, why is that S P? Space flower S F. You know, it's got the official space flower stamps. These are government space flower that they robbed off the government because they're space pirates and they hold allegiance to no one. So this guy's got his v-neck, he thinks he's pretty handsome. Alright. And you know what? Maybe he is pretty handsome. Maybe he is pretty handsome, you know? I don't want to be judgmental. So what do you think? What can we do to make our big guy, you know, less stereotypical? I don't like these space flower things. You know it's space flower. I know it's space flower. Everyone relax. Alright. Steamed ham, molluscoid. Anybody, y'all got, you got, uh, got any ideas? I'll throw out there. So, how can we make him more spacey? First off, we're gonna give this guy a bionic arm. All right. Because every good space pirate needs a bionic arm. <laughs> Bite. He should have something spacey hanging from his belt. Maybe it's just the new iPhone 14, which is the size of a current day uh, tablet, you know, iPhone tablet. 
And then, what kind of shoes would this guy wear? We can come back to that. And that's a cliffhanger. That's a cliffhanger. Keep you guys watching. <laughs> We're going to have, uh, let's see, what about this guy? All right, is this what we're doing? We're going to have these three space pirates. It's a gang of three space pirates. Maybe this guy should have more attitude. Or it could be a girl. I don't know if I know how to draw a girl, but we can try. Space girl. Maybe it'd be easier to draw a space girl than a regular girl. Of course, she has her arms folded because she's unhappy with the way the men are behaving. You know, it's a very realistic scenario we've got going on here. <laughs> Alright. Sorry to get political. I know, I know. And this is a touchy subject. Alright, cool. So we've got three space pirates, but right now I'm like, man, you know what I'm saying? Like, maybe this guy's got a space gun. Oh, someone should have a lightsaber. I guess it's some kind of space thing. I don't know what. I guess it's a holster now instead of an iPad. Yeah, why not? But yeah, I need feedback from you guys. Hit me up in the chat. Let me know what you want to, how you want to, where you want to take these, these space guys. Let's give this guy bigger arms. Like that. I really like, this is why you got to work with shape. Because I didn't, I started off not working with shape. You know, I just like start with the head and work my way down and do whatever I could with the drawing. But what ended up happening? This guy's got such a sassy pose. Is that I wasn't able to... Um, so much contrapposto, bro, relax. I wasn't able to alter my drawings and kind of like experiment and have fun with the... Or in, in the earlier stages, doing like composition and things like that. So these guys more or less look they're like they're standing on the same, you know, ground plane. This guy, maybe I'll move him either forward or backwards. Because it looks like he's standing on the same plane, but slightly off, which I feel like doesn't look good. So I could do that. I'll have him standing further back. Which is weird. It's like, why are you standing back there, bro? Or you could have him up front a little bit more. Because he's a smaller, so that would make more sense. I think I'm just going to keep them on the same plane. It's like a lineup. Alright. So I'm thinking of, he's going to be one of the buffest space goblins you ever seen. So I like that idea. I'm going to lower the opacity and start working with that. If anybody has suggestions for any of these guys. But already the guy on the left we've decided is going to be a space pirate. By we I mean me. Supreme dictator of space. Shami Nelson. The Shamiest of the Nelsons. Alright. So let's zoom into this fool. And what do we got here? ILL films. What kind of films you make, bro? Take them into space immediately. They must be, they are space dwelling beings. Space or not. Space, spaceites, if you will. Character design. Bachelor Park. I'm really, your, your comment is the pinnacle of commentary. Just character design. That's what it is. You don't need to say anymore. You want me to design? That's it. All right. Design some characters. Gotcha. All right. That's it. Sorry for questioning you guys. I think I want this to be a little bit smaller. I'm still working. I'm, I'm, I'm trying not to get into too much detail, but for the face, I want to start establishing this guy's attitude. Okay. And let's see if I can get that going on. So he's got a pretty, you know, he's a handsome, look at this, this is a handsome crew right here we got here. It's a handsome crew. <laughs> Maybe a little too handsome, I don't trust him. I don't trust him. Maybe he's wearing a belt that actually changes his appearance, so he's actually like a really like stinky, not buff goblin. But since he's a space pirate, he's got a, he's got a quantum modulator, a flux modulator, you know. Uh, so whatever, it's gonna go beep boop 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 beep 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 doot 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 doot. Alright. And then once it's fully activated, I mean, it's kind of a dumb place to put it right on the front because anyone who's ever, who's familiar with quantum flux modulators are gonna be like, yep, 
I know you don't look like what you're saying you look like because that thing's blowing and humming. It's a pretty loud, you know, that's a side effect. It has a lot of noise, noise leaking. Do space elves exist and why do we love them? Thank you for the question, ILL Films. Why didn't I send out a notification on Discord? I thought I did. Alright, hold on. I'm live. And then... Can someone just share the link? Hold up. Um, YouTube.com slash C slash pen and blade. Alright. And it always has the world of Chibu. Chibu thing. I guess that's fine. I can brainwash you guys a little bit. Um, here. Uh, everybody. I'm gonna bug you all. All 90 plus people. If you wanna join the Cyber Nation, then, um, join it, bro. Don't let me tell you. Don't let, don't let the world stand in your way, alright? So what kind of cool space outfit would he wear? That's the thing. I don't really know too much about space outfits. Maybe he would just wear, like, a, like a turtleneck? What do you think? Just like a short sleeve turtleneck, which I don't know, that makes no sense. Why would you wear, well, if your neck is cold, you should cover up your arms, shouldn't you? Actually, you lose a lot more heat from your neck than your arms. I don't think that's good at all. I don't think that's good at all. We're gonna just undo that. That's not good. That's very bad. Very bad. Please help make a ten giant tentacle guy. So this guy, we can give him, t okay. So this guy had a robot arm, but no. Now he's going to have a tentacle arm, alright? Thank you. You stopped us from creating a grave mistake. Alright? And tentacle... Tentacles. Alright? Tentacles, right here. Is a... Really pretty nice guy, actually. You'd be surprised. You'd be surprised. Please, and then you know he's got his. What does he wear? What kind of shirt does he wear? Does he just have a tank top on? You know, it's like blood splattered because, or is that paint? You know, maybe this isn't a. Maybe he's wearing an apron. You see what I'm saying? Because he enjoys painting. Why should we put tentacles in a box? Do you believe that just because he's strong, he can't be artistic? It's extremely rude of you. I can't believe- please unsubscribe immediately. I can't believe... This is sick. Alright. So I don't know if that's what we're going for. I mean on his face. Man, you're so critical. There. And then you're gonna say, no, I meant on his other face. Alright, whatever. Makes no sense. So space elves. So space elves. So that's a space goblin. She's a space elf. Space elves are the most beautiful of all space creatures. They're better than other people. They're... Yeah, that's it. They're just better than other people. So how can we... So let's see. She needs first off to have better hair. So is it just straight? Straight and long? Or does it have volume? You know? For some reason I feel like this is like an emo space elf who stopped caring about being an emo. So she um just let her hair grow out. She just like She's like, oh my god. I can't believe I have to deal with these nerds every day. If I want I, I don't if I wanna be so that I can be a successful space pirate. I thought I could just live my life. I thought space piracy would be a great career, but I didn't realize I wouldn't like my coworkers. Everything else was wonderful, you know. But that's that's her lot in life. And what does she wear? I don't know anything about space clothes. No one's helping me. Adelaide, hey. So look, can you please just help me figure out what space clothes look like? You know what? I'm googling it. I'm sorry. Alright, space pirate. See, I even searched space pirate. It was no help. Look at this. Is this a space clothes? Is that space clothes? Oh, a little tiny space vest. Oh, yeah. Alright, let's give her a space vest. 
I forgot about that. All right. There, great. A little tiny space vest. It's closed, yeah. What do you mean? I don't know how else to explain it. Um, clothes that people wear in space. All right, what kind of, what do space pants look like? All right, I'm just gonna steal. I think I can do this, hold on, hold on. What, these are just regular pirates. Space pants. So apparently space pants have knee pads because you never know when you'll need to slide into home base in space. What else do space things have? What does she have? Um, apparently space shirts don't have buttons. I don't understand why. This is a pretty cool space shoe. So instead of knee pads, we can build these down into her space boots. You know? Cool. One thing you can do is you just, I like to build them off. See how you just build it in sections? I feel like that's easier than just drawing a foot and then like breaking it off. You build it out like that. Alright, what else? Is that it? So we got a little space belt. See, now we're just stealing people's ideas. I'm trying to steal your ideas. It's supposed to be collaborative world building. I didn't, but you guys didn't help me, so then I just, you know, stole someone else's ideas. Hold up. These space feet are too big. Let's check the comments section. See what kind of nonsense we can find there. You can always do the Star Trek body stocking thing. Body stocking thing. Alright, Star Trek clothes. Let's look that up. Star Trek fashion. Okay. Images. What the... I think this is what we're looking for. Um, I'm pretty sure that's just... I don't know what that is. Hold on, Star Trek clothes. I don't know, like something like that. Is that spacey? Here, let's give this guy a nice, a nice enterprise. Oh, because he wanted the turtleneck, remember? So we can give him a. Is that what you're talking about, Anale? Not very armor like, though. That's okay. He does need armor. Look at this guy. His muscles are the armor, are you kidding me? Okay, so let's do this hand in the beginning. So it's a long sleeve, little... Okay. I don't know what a space blaster looks like. Like that. Alright, space blaster. So then this goes like that, and then he has a little patch here. So we could have... I'm trying to come up with my own symbol. There we go. Oops, that's the same exact symbol. Oh, you know what? Here, we just do this. That's super stereotypical. Now, why? What? So he's maybe a, a rogue, like he was part of the Federation, the Space Federation. And <laughs> everything's space. And then, look at what is this? And then he's just, what, like tight black space pants all the way down? What do the shoes look like? What kind of shoes do these guys wear? Star Trek shoes. I, I presume they wear Star Trek shoes. Let's see what those look like. Oh my goodness, that's what they wear? They wear Converse with spaceships printed on them? Oh my goodness. Wow. That's not what I was expecting. Alright. Let's see what he looks like with those. Can I even draw Converse? I don't know. Got a little round thing like that? No. So the answer to that question I just asked is no. I cannot draw Converse. What is this? Doo, 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 something like that. Why does this guy think he's so hot? He's hot stuff. Alright. Hold on, there's something wrong here. There, like that. <laughs> I don't know. That's my only comment. That's my only comment. And this guy needs a name, so please someone name our our, our fashionable 
or fashion uh, or X a renegade okay what is he he's a renegade Space Federation captain who wears Converse well maybe he doesn't it depends on if I'll actually be able to draw the Converse we're gonna stop trying to draw the Converse soon he wears space clothes he wears uh no no, no wait 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 scratch it scratch it oops that's not look good let's make it bigger like that there we go and then this top part all right is that cool does that look like a space pirate to you someone please name that space pirate immediately it's highly necessary and what kind of hair? Let's see Star Trek hair. Let's just keep moving, working with this. This is a very effective method. I think this is how Star Trek was created. Oh, there we go. That's it. All right. Usually, when looking for reference images, you don't need to look past the uh, preview section of Google Images because those are the best, the best images you're gonna find. So I don't know about this hairstyle. I'm gonna leave it for now. Maybe it's a cultural thing. You can't. You shouldn't judge space goblins or whatever other culture is out there because you don't know what they've been through, alright? So, I think we're good on Star Trek here for now. Let's just uh, move back, get back to the drawing. And, oh, let's check the comment section. See if we've got names for either of our other two protagonists. Pegleg. Alright. Pegleg. I know you said he needs a pegleg. And I think I'm going to interpret that as he is a peg leg. A spiked hawk. Oh, that's cool. All right. So on her shoulder, she's got this bird of prey. All right. And it's got these three feathers. It's called a spiked hawk. It's from the planet Sparkon. The sparkiest planet on Earth. I don't know what a spiked hawk is if it's not that. Captain Crunk. Oh, I didn't even see Crunk. R Retio. Oh. Uh, Retio Pegleg. Oh, shit. Okay, wait. Could she be Retia? No, she could be Retia. How about that? Retia. Retia. Retia? Is that cool? I don't know if that's cool. Sorry about the rant. Like, Oh, man, you're still going on about that? I can't believe I scrolled up. I should have never scrolled up. That logic he just uses. You... You are a... Not very nice, my friend. Not very nice. Alright. So, let's make sure he's got... He's got one arm, right? So he's not... Oh, maybe he was, like, bitten by a creature that... I don't know that um that like turned him into a half squid i don't know he was bitten by a radioactive squid and then this is the s f or space flower of course and uh maybe he has a crush on her you see what i'm saying He's like, hey, pretty mama. I find you to be rather attractive. And I think that your, uh, your, your spiked hawk is, is cool. Retea. There you go. Done. A weird squid. Steamed ham. He was bitten by a weird squid. But he's got, um, he's got antibodies that fight the lycanthropy. So it just, it actually affected him almost worse and made him into this mutant. Was for midget man, Retea. Retiana. Oh, I like that. Yeah, I like Retiana. Retea, um, I don't know. I, I almost, yeah. I like it, but I think I like Retiana better. It's a nice. It's, good. it's prettier. It's prettier. You know what I'm saying? But does she need to be pretty? Maybe not. Oh, yeah, hold on. Let me make this bigger and give her dark hair because she's emo. Boom. Retiana, man. Hey, what? Celtic Blue? You get out of here. Celt Celtic or Celtic? 
I think Celtic. Celtic Blue? Get out of here. Punk. I'm a cyber bully. I don't know if you guys know that. I was, uh, I've been a cyber bully for many years now. It's different than a troll. Hey! Hey! I don't know what to say to that. I'm sending peg leg after you. Imagine this guy shows up at your door. Oh, man. I picked a cyber fight. I cast a check. My, oh, I cast a, I, I cyber failed. I got cyber, I got cyber murked. Bruh. It can be both ways, bruh. I looked it up one time. Celtic? Yeah, that's how I prefer. But then they say the Celtics. Don't they say that for the, for the, for the team? Because I think it's based on an old word that we don't actually know how they pronounced it. But I'm sure there are leading theories or whatever. So does she do wear, I don't know, what is this with the apron and stuff? You say it's seriously going to let me leave him in an apron? I mean, that's just kind of embarrassing. I don't like it. I think you guys need some other ideas. Hearty and Celtic. Gaelic has no soft consonants. Oh, so they know, oh, because the Gaelic is the language that's, like, descended from ancient Celtic. All right. Oh, so if you say Celtic, it refers to the Boston Celtics. And if you say Celtic, it refers to the ancient, you know, warriors. Or not even warriors, just peoples. All right. That's cool. That's cool. Oh, so that's westernized. Well, look at that. I learned. Sorry, Molesco. I thought you could do it both ways. I guess you're right. Celtic. Celtic. Bro, Gaelic is Celtic. No way, man. Is it? That's insane. How could a language last that long? I bet it was like English and Old English, though. Like ancient uh, Gaelic would be different than modern one. I don't know. Just, uh, that's pretty cool, though. They're the same language. So, so I watched this podcast about the Celtics. Have you heard of Dan Carlane's Hardcore History? You guys got to check out the Celtic Holocaust one. Because apparently Celtic people were pretty terrible. Pretty terrible people. By modern moral standards, like they kept the uh, not terrible. I guess it's just a cultural thing. But they kept the heads of their enemies in the trunk in their house or something, apparently, and they take it out and show it to guests and be like, "Oh, I killed this guy," and they tell a nice story about how he battled him and stuff. Which actually sounds kind of fun, but it also seems like it might. It's like another form of being desensitized to violence. They didn't have TV back then, so they had to desensitize themselves some other way. All right. Wait, hold on. What is this guy going to look like? Because I actually like this kind of this crew. Pegleg, uh, Tentacles, and uh, Retiana. They're a pretty cool crew. Bruh, you like the apron? Oh my gosh, are you serious? Alright, I guess he's the cook. Fine. I'll just put it back in. But I feel like he should have something that like makes him, I don't know, like cool. Is that not cool? Alright, fine. Whatever. We've got an apron. We've got an apron. Is that it? Does that mean we're pretty much done? With our space crew? I guess he cooks meat and stuff, but there's like... There's no space meat. If there's space meat... Oh, maybe it's like... Oh, what if in space... Space law, you're not allowed to kill anything. Okay? Killing is illegal. It's outlawed in space law. So there's no more meat. You can't eat meat. So space meat is actually like one of the most, uh, like it's like in the black market, the space market, the black space, black space market, space black market.